Cancel. Michelle Long, the plaintiff, claims the defendant spitefully threw away her African dress because he's a racist. The defendant, Ralph Welsh, says he tossed the plaintiff's dress because his boss told him to. Ms. Long, you're suing Mr. Welsh for $380, is that correct? And that's for throwing away your custom-made African dress, a pair of shoes, and a bracelet that yes. he threw in the trash, and he's your co-worker? Yes, sir. Okay, Love and this happened people. on the job site. Tell me what happened. Okay, Your Honor, this guy has been after me for five years. I've been after you how? You want to date you or something? No. I'm sorry to, to say it like that. But he has been after me with, I mean, tried to get me fired from my job. Oh. He has made um, racial remarks to me as I was as I have been working with him the whole time. How many complaints have you filed against him? Well, I done t told supervisors on him. They separated us. They have did. Excuse me, Your Honor. Could I interject here yeah. at this moment? Uh, I want uh, the plaintiff to know, Your Honor, that this, this is not um, a vendetta, or I hold nothing against her, and I don't know where she's coming up with this story that, uh, that I have been after her and that uh, I've tried to get her fired. Uh, you make racial remarks against her? Not that I yeah. am aware of, Your Honor. Not that you're aware of. I have, he, not through general conversation and uh, working. through general conversation. There has been no racial remarks at the work site, Your Honor. Yes, it has. Well, yes, off sir. the work site? Oh, not, you qualifying I'm not that pretty. associated with her off the work site. Okay, well, then that answer should be no. Testimony in the case of the lost, then found, then tossed dress resumes after this. If you had a boss over three years <clears throat> who would write you up repeatedly for something you didn't do and make racial remarks against you, I would suspect you'd do some writing yourself at some point. Yes. I haven't seen you all day, just want to say how I missed you in my own way. So I'm baking big old biscuits. Racist who tossed her dress. Did you file any complaints, ma'am? Did you write him up? Did you write a letter to the supervisors? No, I didn't. But um, one time, the, the owner of, the comp of our company, he actually had a talk with him. And I thought everything was resolved then back about three years ago when the owner had told him to leave me alone. A friend of hers did threaten me at work. Uh, staying, s stating that uh, that if if I didn't stop writing Miss Long up because I was in a supervisor's uh, capacity at that time, that um, something might. Okay, so you were her supervisor at some point. Yes, sir. and you wrote her up for what? Disciplinary actions, okay. various things. Your Is Honor. that true, ma'am? Yes, he wrote me up for things that I didn't even do. Were you, you know? disciplined for it? I mean, what was the procedure yes, I, to resolve it? I, I, Oh, there was no discipline. Just I just got wrote up. That was it. Did you appeal that that write up, that disciplinary action that you yes, don't I feel did. that you did? And what happened with the appeal? What was the appeal process? They they just tore it up and or put it in a file and who nothing just else who just up. tore it up? Owner of our company. You know, disciplining an employee for things that uh, that they do or fail to do that they're required to do that that that, that that's not racism. You know that, right? Yes. All right. But, um, Don't mix I, the two things up. Okay. Well, I didn't. Because if really he was able to write you up, he used oh, to write me up for things. I understand. Like, let, let me explain something to you. You seem like a very intelligent woman. Mm -hmm. Presents yourself well. If you had a boss over three years <clears throat> who would write you up repeatedly for something you didn't do, and make racial remarks against you, I would suspect you'd do some writing yourself at some point. Yes. You didn't. I did some. It was an, um, another employee involved in the situation mm -hmm. that didn't work for our company. Um, he talked to them first and found out, was I doing these things that Ralph accused me of doing? Mm -hmm. She said, no, I wasn't. My boss went back over there and told him to leave me alone. He don't want to hear nothing else out of him about me because it seems like he's just making up things about me, mm -hmm. you know, because I was getting rolled up like every other week. I mean, Did that happen, sir? Not to my knowledge. Right? In baggage my, my claim, boss I was never working in baggage claim. And, what do you mean uh, not to your knowledge? You would know if it no, happened, right? right? No. Just say no. no. This other employee, to the best of my knowledge, was not present at the time that she was doing it. These were, these were just simple things. What other things. employee? So you know the employee she's talking about? 
Not, not particularly, no. Well, like what are you around. talking about no, then? What, do you say no, this other employee, and then I say, well, do you know the well, other um, employee she's talking about? Mind. You say not particularly, but you're referring to somebody when you say, look, well, you might be the supervisor down there wherever you all work, and you might be able to run this on these little people that you talk to and work under you, but you can't run that on me, all right? I'm trying to. Talk in clear English, not yes, in circles, okay? Yes, talk very directly and very yes, specifically. Sir. Yes, no. What? I, I'll stop doing that. I, I do apologize. To now, the how do you know who she's talking about if that never occurred? I don't, Your Honor. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay, this is the reason I'm suing him for the $380. Your Honor, I have put my belongings inside of the cubby and um, this locked it. African attire it. you yes, had? African attire. I put it in a bag. I had my African attire in the bag. I also had in the bag was a bracelet that I only wear on Sundays. I don't wear it to work because, you know, it gets... We could get caught in the belt or broke mm -hmm. up or anything. I forgot and left it there overnight, Sunday night. That Monday, I had called um, one of the other employees and asked her, did she have my thing? She said, no, Michelle, why would I have your things? It, was, it's, it's, it, w it should still be in there. She said, I had told Ralph that it was your things. I have taken his sweater home that he had left, not even locked up, took it home, kept it for several days, and then brought it to him. Okay. And, you know, and he even told me, thank you, you know, for doing that for you. And he said, nobody you never done you like that before, you know. But, see, I'm a kind hearted person. I do things nice for people, but this is what I get, you know, from How did you come to find like out he had him. thrown your things out? He admitted it. He, he says that he didn't know who they were. Common sense would have told you to either take it to lost and found if you didn't know whose it was, but he knew whose it was. And if it, and, and, he, and the employer you didn't even know that it was locked up. You all yes, do, have do have a lost, lost and, found. and found. Okay, so did you throw things away? If so, why? Yes, Your Honor, I did. Why? Under the instruction of the uh, owner of the company. He asked me uh, if I knew whose things those were, and I said, no, I did not. There's no name on the bag. He said, then I would throw them away. Is the fast-talking defendant guilty of disposing of the goods? Judge Mathis decides next. So the reason you threw him away this time is because you had asked her so many times previously and she didn't obey. Is that what you... Massage therapy is a very rewarding career. And these days, qualified massage therapy... Provided by... It's here. New Vaseline Intensive Care Water-Resistant Lotion. Now skin stays moisturized even through washing. Take good care of my... For great skin, take good care. Brush better. For cleaner teeth, fresher breath. Plaques. It's what's behind a better brush. We now return to Judge Mathis. He keeps an eye on uh, all the things in the little cubby hole that the employees... No, put. sir, he doesn't. And I asked right. the person that was working with me at the time mm -hmm. whose things those were, and he didn't know. Mm -hmm. And, uh... How long had they been there, to your knowledge? To my knowledge, uh, they had been there, um, two days, but somebody else told me that they had been there a week, and Michelle has been known to leave her personal items in the podium for the last two years. What is the policy regarding leaving things in the cubby hole? Uh, as far as I know, uh, there is none. Uh, you don't leave your personal, the policy states you don't leave personal items in the podium. And the so most where, anybody where, where, ever where, keeps where, in there where is does a the, purse. Where do, or the a only thing to go in there is a purse? From the ladies, yes. Or a jacket. The men don't put anything in there. Or a jacket, you say? Or a jacket, yes. All right, so clothing. Yes. All right. It's just a problem you have with, and I didn't left plenty of clothes, like you said, for the last two years, but you didn't throw those away because it wasn't African attire. That true, sir? She's no, left nice. clothes there previously? And didn't you tell me that a minute yeah, ago? Yes. So why didn't you throw them away previously? Because we kept working with Michelle and we kept telling her and asking her to please remove these items you and take them away. So the reason you threw them away this time is because you had asked her so many times previously and she didn't obey. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, but I instructed with that thing with a supervisor. You just said you manager. didn't know they were hers. <laughs> you said you didn't know they were hers. Now Your you Honor. say you threw them but away the, because you repeatedly clothes. warned I'm, her. I'm talking about the said clothes. He's blaming it on the boss to get the boss to help you pay this $380. Playing the $380 Thank judgment. You, <laughs> okay, he's made a comment back in about three years ago when we was in baggage claim, you told me, I'm gonna get you out of here. You told me you was gonna get me fired. 
So I don't know where you're coming up with these accusations, okay. but well. I've never treated you oh, uh, okay. indifferently than uh, the way I would treat anybody else.